Welcome back to Wasteland 2. At the end of the last episode, I was going to go back to the Ranger Citadel to visit Bechowski, who should be able to tell me where the rat suits are to get to Demonta. But I got a call from Vargas telling me about, uh, I think it was a reported sighting of robots and or androids or something like that. I think it was at this radio tower? I'm not actually quite sure because this game makes it really hard to tell where to go. Um, if you don't know exactly where to go, because you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't check your quest log when you're on the overhead map. So it makes it a little bit difficult. But anyway, I think the radio tower is it, and I suppose that's probably more important than getting back to the Citadel. As much as I'd like some nice cocoa and a, a firm bed, I guess I'll go save people from the robots. Alright. No. Go away, raiders. I don't feel like fighting you right now. I have some robots to deal with. I sure hope I'm going to the right place. Oh yeah, I forgot I can speed up time. Let me do that. No. 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 Was it the radio tower? I mean, I've already been here, right? Was it a place that I've already been? I don't. Even, I really don't remember. I don't see any other new places on the map, though. I don't know. I can check my quest log once I actually get on the ground in the level. I don't know why you can't check your quest log when you're on the overhead map. That doesn't make any sense to me. This is the very first place I went, wasn't it? Yeah, this is where Ace was. This can't be it, can it? Oh, hey. Vulture's Cry leveled up. Copy, Echo. Echo, congratulations, Echo One. Nine skill points. Okay, safe cracking or sniper rifles? Let's do safe cracking. Okay, check my quest log. Do, do, does it not even show up in my quest log? Oh, hey. William Brown's Stolen Pigs. That must be the pigs that I accidentally freed. Well, not really accidentally. But remember when I tried to get at the vast piles of pig shit in the pig pen? At the Auroroder farm? And then everybody tried to shoot me because I was messing up their property and messing with their pigs? Yeah, I think those were actually his pigs. Uh, I'm not going to do that uh, just yet, of course, though. We'll... Wait until the situation gets resolved with the people in the prison, and perhaps the Red Scorpions will actually just leave the entire area. So let's not, um... Let's not kill all the Red Scorpions there just for the sake of releasing a couple pigs early. We can deal with that later. Anyway, there's no freaking quest here for this. Like, And I noticed when Vargas told me to go somewhere, no, like, no new location popped up on the map, so what the hell? Is there really no log of what I'm supposed to do? I'm confused. I'm gonna have to, like, go back and look at the past video for what the hell he was talking about. Does he expect me to go back to the Ranger Citadel to get the location of the place? I mean, I have him on radio. I could just ask him. But he won't tell me. Alright, whatever, Vargas. I think you're going crazy, old man. I'm going back to the damn Citadel. If people die because they got killed by robots or something, then I'm gonna blame you. I'll forward the lawsuit letters to your mailbox. Oh wait, the United States Postal Service doesn't exist anymore because a nuclear post-apocalyptic war happened? Oh, damn. I guess there's no more Saturday delivery.
Okay, got a bunch of stuff to unload. Check for some new weapons and stuff. I think I have some shit. Yeah, I think I have some shit to give TNT Tan. Let's see if I've collected any items that can be put into the museum. Why, thank you, Solvig Sephors. We still have Vax with us. Don't be alarmed, don't shoot, he's a friend. He's even overclocked, and water-cooled too. Eh, nope, nothing for the museum. Oh yes, I'm also gonna, I wanna be on the lookout for, hold on, I wrote it down. Part number TRL-01553, which is the tread part for that thing in front of the prison. Yo! You don't want to talk? Next, oh, hold on. Next time you go back to the prison, take notes of defense's population morale. I need the info for my maps. Okay. Oh, hey, Chisel. How you doing? Do I need help from you? No. We probably have some more painkillers for the dock. Oh, wait a minute, he doesn't want any more painkillers, does he? Uh, yes, fix this up. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll just sell him the... Oh, we only trains some medical items, okay. <clears throat> painkillers, painkillers. We actually don't have any, do we? Would seem not. Let's go see Vargas. So Vargas, would you like to clarify what the hell you said to me before? I, apparently not. Thanking me for the solving the feud between the Topekans and the Atchisons, no problem. Okay, I guess you don't didn't want me to save any place or something. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know something bugged out or I just misinterpreted something. But I thought I was supposed to go somewhere, but it's not in my quest log and I don't know where it is. And he won't talk about it. So, okay, cool. Mm, weapon parts and junk I can sell to you. Okay, so yeah, this is management time now, so I'm gonna do a bunch of management, check weapons and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Well, I sold all my garbage and packed away some stuff that I probably won't need but kinda wanna keep for sentimental reasons. And I have a bunch of money, and frankly, there's really not much to spend it on. I've taken a look at these weapons, and there's really nothing here I wanna buy. I have the best version of everything here, from what I can tell. I don't need ammo. I mean, you can see that Harper's got plenty of ammo, plenty of sniper ammo. Yeah, holy crap, we got a lot of ammo. Freaking 10 pounds of shotgun shells. Yeah, we're doing fine on ammo. Can't buy any better weapons that I can see. There's really nothing I want to upgrade for the weapons that I haven't already had the chance to do, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to buy this tactical vest. I believe that's the only tactical vest here. Yeah, so the, the cheapest kind of no strength requirement armor was the leather jacket, and then it was the bulletproof jacket, or bulletproof shirt with three armor, and then the tactical vest is the best one so far with four armor. All these other ones are heavier and require a certain amount of strength and reduce your combat speed, but these are, these are the free armors, basically. So I guess that's all I'm going to buy. Now, who do I give it to? Harper's already got one. Helen does not, because she doesn't often get uh, hit, because she has a sniper. Theodore could use it. Yeah, Yulia's already got it, which is good, because she's up front. Oh, she doesn't have any armor at all. That's weird. 
Neither does she. Alright, he already has some armor. Does reduce his combat speed, but... Eh, that's probably fine. Let's give it to Angela. Yeah, because she is... Does not have any armor at all. Gonna appease my sense of order by sorting everybody's inventory. There we go. Okay. Talk to a couple other people here, just see if anything new has popped up. Did you want to talk to me? Hey, over here! What? A gaunt man in his thirties hunches over a table, cleaning and oiling gun parts. He is smeared with oil and sweat, and seems to be trembling slightly. Listen, I heard you talking to Murkaptain just now. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I heard you talking to Murkaptain just now. He's talking about the conversation we had, like, a month ago? I guess I was supposed to notice him a long time ago, and I missed it. Anyway. Everything she's got is solid merchandise. But as you may have noticed, Melson's gonna make you pay through the nose for the good stuff. Well, I got a little toy collection of my own. And I'd be willing to let some of them go for a lot cheaper than she will. Interested? I think this sounds shady as hell. That sounds really shady. What kind of good stuff? All the big guns, energy weapons, rockets, sniper rifles. All top quality. I made them myself. Do you want some? And they won't jam up every other shot? I swear, they're just as good as the ones Melson has, but at a fifth of the price. What do you say? I think that sounds shady as hell. No thanks. Come on, I'm trying to raise money for, for a family emergency. Okay, given the fact that it sounded like you were sweating and shaking, now maybe that's just from the effort of cleaning and oiling gun parts, but... I suspect you might have a drug habit. Why does your family need money? I, I'm trying to help out my sister. I can't tell you any more than that, but it's important, I promise. Come on, can't you do a guy a favor? This is shady as hell, no. Is your sister in trouble? He probably doesn't even have a sister. Sorry, I'm not saying anything more about it. Will you help me out? Buy a gun or two? Smartass. Oh man, it's only level two, but I don't think anybody has smartass, do they? No, I have kissass and hardass. Damn it. I need a greater variety of asses in my party. Why are you so eager to sell these guns? Something's gotta be wrong. Goddamn Echo. Wait, goddamn Echo? Huh? You guys my therapist now? Want me to go lie down on the couch so you can psychoanalyze me? Either you want guns or you don't. Which is it? Ooh, hard ass. Here we go. Yeah, this is a super early quest. Look at this. Hard ass level one. What we want to know is what's going on. Something's up. Tell us what it is. Ah, you're right. Look, it's my sister. If you ain't interested in the guns, I gotta get a letter to her. It's important. But I can't leave the Citadel. I can't get the time off. Would, would you take this to her? She lives in a rail nomads camp. Her name is Katie. And, and tell her I'm sorry. Katie. Katie, Katie. I don't remember a Katie. Hopefully I didn't kill a Katie. Hopefully Katie wasn't one of the people that freaked out at me and tried to kill me. Sure. Thank you. I owe you one. Here. What's so important about this letter? Never mind what's so important. It's private. Between me and her. Will you take the letter? Ooh. Kiss as level four. Yes. If the situation is anywhere near as desperate as you sound, you should just resign. Family's gotta come first. I, f 
fuck. You're right. I've been such a damn coward. Hiding in the Citadel. I'm eating well, drinking well, while Katie's out there struggling in Rail Nomad's camp. Trying not to get caught by that RSM piece of shit. He thinks he fucking owns her. Who, who is this Echo? That he keeps talking about. Uh, Echo, I gotta... Huh? Okay. If you're a Rail Nomad's anytime soon, stop by. Sure. Is there somebody in my party named Echo that I don't know about? Aww. I gained the letter and then I lost it. I didn't even have time to steam it open and secretly read it. What else do you need? Oh, I have to go to him? Oh, right. We're in the same building. Eh, I'll get my promotion later. Okay, more captain. Don't think I have any more requisition forms. Ah, uh, there's no point in telling her about uh, Bullings' attempt to sell us dodgy weapons. He's gone. Okay, do do do. Oh, apparently I have a requisition. One requisition, sweet. All right, it's been a long time. Looks like there's some new stuff. You you seriously have goat hide armor? Is that stuff I sold to you? Because that doesn't seem like stuff. That seems like garbage. Uh, anyway. Bad attitude. Submachine gun. Nice. It decreases your smart ass and charisma and increases your hard ass. It's a weird weapon. Shoe model ranger combat knife. That might be good for Takayuki. I guess it's either this or nothing, so let's see if it's better. Um... <laughs> has the same AP. It has more, but once I put the grip tape on, it'll be the same. Does a lot less damage. Hit chance is the same. Crit chance is lower. Armor penetration is much lower. The only good thing about it is the fact that it has an extremely high chance to apply opened up. And I don't know what that does. It sounds like it's a bleeding, uh, bleeding effect, but the combat knife already has a bleeding wound effect. So apparently, opened up is different from bleeding wound. Is it worth the vast decrease in everything else in terms of damage and armor penetration? Probably not. So, no thanks. Okay, a couple more things to do. Do I have any new recruits? I don't believe so. What is everybody talking about? Everybody's talking at once. Do, do no recruits, nope. Scotchmo, what's going on? Hungerford, anything new to say to you? No. Let's go give some shit to TNT Tan. Literally. Got some shit. Damn it, Angela's too far away. Oh well, I think that's all the shit. Thirty-six bucks a shit. Yeah. Oh my god. RPG seven, five hundred points of damage. The best one I have at the moment is the Sabbat rocket. It's one hundred and fifty. This thing's a beast. Ten armor penetration? Damn. Damn. Still can't go in here, right? Oh, wait. I thought we weren't allowed back here. Are we allowed now? Uh, I guess we are. Didn't I try to open this before and we weren't allowed? 
Oh wait, I need to go talk to Machowski. This must must yeah, this must be the prison. And I guess it's been opened up. Right? Yes. Can I unlock this? No. There's Rick. I have no idea who Rick is. Hey, dude. A burly bulldog of a man with mere shades and a whistle added to the traditional ranger uniform. Sorry about the smell. I haven't had a chance to hose off the drunken cell number two. What can I do for you? We need to talk to Ranger Bachowski. Uh, brace yourselves. He's the drunken cell number two. And if you think he smells bad from out here, wait till you're in, there in the same room with him. Apparently nobody likes Bachowski. Oh, I guess Rick is him. Rick Bachowski. Who the fuck are you? I already answered everybody's questions. I got drunk, and I got shanghaied. That's the whole story, got it? Go away and let me sleep. Red said we should talk to you. Huh? He did? What for? He said you knew where we could find some rad suits. Sure, I know where some rad suits are. Used to use them to go goop prospecting out in the canyon of... Out in the Canyon of Titan. What makes you think I'm going to give them to you? Freedom. <laughs> I don't want to give him his freedom. I really don't. Uh, I think you should stay in here, so we'll pay you. I have money. We could pay you. What do I need money for locked up in here? Forget it. Ah, alright. We'll let you out. Now you're talking. You get me out of here, and I'll take you right to them rad, rad suits. No bullshit. And then you just look the other way while I take a powder and we're square. Deal? I don't know what the hell take a powder means, but sure. Well. I prefer not to. Can I say no? I'm gonna say no. Then go fuck yourselves. Huh. I guess I have to do this if I want the rad suits? I mean, is there any other way? I mean, assuming that we don't have to, like, go through a door that requires a passcode that only he has, then theoretically you could find them, but you'd have to... You'd have to just do random stuff and just explore randomly until you found it, because there's no other leads on where to find it, so... Yeah... All right, fine. All right, you just go talk to Officer Asswipe about getting me out, and I'll put my clothes on. Can you release him into our custody? We need him for a pending investigation. Well, if it's official, then I guess it's okay. To be honest, I don't want him staying in my brig any more than he does. He stinks like a drunk ox. Well, shit, that was easy. You guys are my new best friends. Please, no. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> had all them suits in an old RV west of here. Somewhere right around here. Oh. Cool. You know, now that you've pointed out where it is, I don't really need you. So if you could fuck off now, that'd be great. In fact, Jailer, just can you just put this man back in jail? Thank you. Alright, let's see what happened. We've released him, uh-huh. And he leads us to the cache of rat suits. Well, we already know where it is. I don't think we need him, but alright.
Oh, Echo. Are we Echo Team? We must be Echo Team. That must be what they mean by Echo. Uh, anyway. Ugh, I feel bad for you, Echo. Bachowski does two things. Stinks and drinks. Not the caliber of ranger we expect. Oh, hold on. Copy, Echo Let's get my level up here. My level loop, eh? Hmm, energy weapons or shotguns? Or demolition. Let's do energy weapons. I feel like I might need them more soon. Because they're robots. Okay. Well, now that we've arrived, Rick... I think it's time that we buried you. Goodbye. Just dig in your grave. Hold on. It's just going to take me about five seconds. Alright, there you go. Here we are. RV's just around the bend. That's it, right? I can go. That was a deal. Hmm. That's a good question. Is there any harm in letting him go? I don't know. Does he wear the ranger badge, like, loud and proud? Because if he does, that's a problem, because then he, um, he gives us a bad name. No. You motherfucking cheaters. You promised. I know. Oh, what's that? Monitor lizards. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Oh, this is Echo 1. Yeah, we are Echo 1. Uh, I totally knew that. <clears throat> Go ahead, over. 10 4 Echo 1, Ranger Aldine in the brig is requesting that I ask you how soon you will be returning prisoner Bachowski, who you have under your supervision. Please advise on his return. <laughs> I can say that he's dead. <laughs> uh, he was eaten by a large monitor lizard, sir. We'll have him back soon. Over. Copy that, Echo 1. Please bring him back ASAP. We still got some questions we want to ask him. Roger. Good luck. Ranger Command out. Eh, there's no reason to get tactical about this. Oh, did she? Oh, she had a pulse rifle out. Whoops. That may have been a massive waste of ammo, because I think everybody shot it. <laughs> a little bit overkill. Let's not burst. In fact, let's just use shotgun and melee. Yeah, let's save some ammo. Uh, oh, I can't hit both. Damn it. This is the first time we're going to see what Vax can do. 
That should be fun. Says he's a plasma caster. Okay, Vax can walk one step and then runs out of points. While shouting, kill all humans, which is a strange thing to shout because I have reprogrammed him and these are not humans. I am slightly concerned. is incapable of fighting, apparently. Vax, can you stop sucking, please? Apparently not. I can't even talk with him. This toaster I actually might be able to fix because it's pretty low, lo low level. Yeah. Low chance, but uh, let's give it a shot. Alrighty then. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even fix it to get another shot at it? Well, burnt toast. Alright, fuckers. There's the safe. Combination is 733. Thank you. I don't think I needed the combination, though. I can't get any description on it for some reason. That's weird. Well, it's probably one of those special saves, safes where you can't actually hack it. You have to put in a password combination. Ah, plus four radiation protection. Beautiful. I feel better. The rad suits in hand, we're now ready to search for Demonta. We need to find a way through the radiation cloud and into the canyon that separates Ranger territory and Demonta. Okay. Which I believe is... Where was it exactly? I remember somebody described where it was. You need to move around until you hear the signal of the mad monks or something, wasn't it? Well, Demont is supposed to be east of the prison, right? So I guess it's somewhere here. So I guess I'll go parade around there. Do some exploration. Actually, you know what? Before even doing that, now that I have this radiation suit, I think I'm probably equipped enough to go to Darwin Village and try to find the cure for the dock and see what's going, out, uh, going on up there. And I think Vargas actually wanted me to check it out, right? It's not just the cure that I'm looking for. Let's see. I think I think somebody told me to go there other than... Yeah, I think... Somebody wanted me to go there other than the doctor, I believe. Although I'm not seeing it. Anyway, there's a lot of places I can go from here on out. But uh, let's get this dude back to his cell, which I fear might be problematic. I feel like on my way out of here, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna encounter a robot or something. I feel like this is where something goes horribly wrong, but apparently not.
just want to take a quick look and see if you have anything higher tier than what they sell inside. Probably not. No, this is, yeah, this is really low tier stuff. Brought your stinking shit covered prisoner back. Aw, you shouldn't have. No, really. Alright, give him to me. I'll lock him up. Thanks for bringing him back. Wish you'd given him a bath first, though. Okay. Oh, here, yeah, the Show Mysterious Logbook to General Vargas. This is the other part of the Darwin Village. Do, do, do. Right, belong to, yeah, the log, the strange logbook belonged to Hellraiser. And I mentioned something about Darwin Village. So that's why he wants us to reconnoiter the Darwin Village location and report back. So yeah, I think that needs to be where we go next, because, uh... I feel like I'm well equipped to do it now, because it's supposed to be a place that was filled with radiation, but now that I have the suit, I should be good to go. My team is pretty damn powerful. We proved that we can take on three slicer dicers with about 500 hit points each, all at one time, which is pretty impressive. And the doctor's dying from cancer. And Hellraiser apparently had something important going on at Darwin Village, so yeah, I think that's where we should go next. I think that's the most pressing concern. All right, well, I'm all set up, suited up, and ready for adventure. But I think I'll end this episode here and save that for the next one. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.